Let's take a look at the perimeter of a circle. So the funny thing is perimeter is what we usually use. That's the word we usually use when we're talking about the length around a shape, like what's the perimeter of this rectangle? You'd add up this side plus that side plus this one plus this one. You'd add up the lengths as though this were like a fenced in area. Add up the length of fence and that'd be the perimeter. So in a circle, when we want to talk about that perimeter, when we want to talk about how long this fence is around this interior, and we want to know how long this line is, or this curving circle is, we actually don't use the word perimeter ordinarily. We call it circumference, but it's the same thing. So to figure out the circumference of a circle, we need to know the radius or the diameter. And either one works, because actually, you might know the radius, let's call it three, is always half the diameter. In other words, the diameter, the length from one side to the other through the center, is always double the radius. So if that was six, this would be three. And the circumference is just two pi r or pi d. So two pi r means two times pi, which is 3.14 rounded, um, times the radius, in this case three. So we'd say it's six pi. Or you could use diameter, which, since diameter is 6, would also be 6 pi. And the reason there's two formulas is just because 2r, as we were just saying, is d. And that's why they both work.